Have you ever had the opportunity to help someone who's going through something painful? Did you happen to have insight into their traumas, and what did it take for you to save them from themselves as well as others? Have you ever regretted not saying enough, simply out of fear? Wonder Egg Priority is a show that follows the lives of four teenagers that more or less have seen firsthand what the buildup of stresses and life can do to a person that is at their breaking point. Loved ones, friends they've once looked up to, and even those that they didn't know was important until they were gone. Throughout watching it all, the inner turmoil and struggle that these kids go through deeply impacts them, and you can really see the minute differences that each of them have on each other's lives. Through the facade of smiling faces and false confidence lies a frail mind who wants nothing more than to reach out and be accepted. But it's no coincidence that these same four people pushing past their own inner struggles are ones that will go out and help others that are dealing with the same inner demons. Each case is always different with varying degrees of impact with different buttons tugging on their psyche. Some just want a friend, others just want to be understood. Each person is a delicate case and you never really know what's ailing someone based on their appearance alone. While it's easy to miss that some people aren't happy with their current life due to the way they hold themselves in public, it's much easier to ignore, berate, or even belittle someone for their issues. Something that's all too common and could very well lead someone down an even more negative path. The topic of pain that you feel is often a social taboo, one that has been beat into my head probably as well as others. But there's a deep level of vulnerability that comes from being able to express that sorrow. You likely won't be able to walk up to a stranger and ask them to lay out everything that's going on in their life. But you could easily see someone having a bad day and make it better or worse subconsciously by projecting good or bad vibes towards them. No one wants to be in the mindset that they're in, and treating moments like these as just wanting attention will always do more harm than good. Each case is unique and nuanced, yet share a similar thread of fear and uncertainty that's amplified by those false affirmations of those who choose to turn a blind eye or perpetuate the issue. You won't be able to help everyone by simply talking to them, but at the very least an act of kindness or genuine empathy to connect can plant a seed of hope that can go a long way. The environment of the workplace or school is where so many bad deeds happen behind the scenes and could be easily confronted if one person stands up and becomes a brave face for someone who's dealing with said issue. Look, I'm avoiding the word. I'm sure the topic makes everyone uncomfortable to some degree. But anyone who's had a friend or a loved one suddenly pass away by their own hand knows just how deep to the core that can hit. It's not the type of thing you can just forget about. It's a looming horror in the back of your mind, raising more questions that could ever be understood. But the most debilitating tragedy that befalls behind this is that there often is preventions that could stop it. Someone going through their struggles and downfalls don't often see the whole picture. They're not thinking with the same rationale they've always been in. Sometimes what it really takes is knowing that someone out there really understands and is able to see them the way they are. Not the cornered in, scarred individual they've built up to be all there is in the world. Some just really need someone to show them that they can fight on, and that there is more to the issue at hand. A friend, or at the very least someone they can talk to. It doesn't matter. So I'm done with pretending that I don't see anything! Wonder Egg Priority does do a great job of presenting that cause of the underlying stresses, but done so in a way where coping and facing your trauma is more than just seeing things for what they really are. They're not just words someone said to you, or a group of people who want to abuse you. They're tangible things that can get you, hurt you, or even crush your spirit. And the more these feelings and experiences pile up, the bigger and more grotesque the situation becomes until eventually... Are you alright? My name's Ayoto. I'm Minami Suzuhara. Don't worry, okay? I promise I'll protect you. Ai's bright and positive demeanor is probably one of my favorite things about the show. She's not the most calm and collective person, but she really gives it her all when it comes to her friends to the point where it becomes infectious, both to me as the viewer as well as the other cast members in the show. 
She's constantly trying to help her friends open up and be happy, all the while dealing with the stresses going on within her own life. She's shy and timid, but has the courage to do anything crazy when it comes to bringing out the best in others. I highly encourage you to give this show a watch. If not for the themes handled beautifully that I briefly touched on, at least do it for this smile. I mean, come on. It's a journey that has to be experienced, as I can honestly say it's touched me on multiple occasions. The amazing visuals on their own are a spectacle to behold, with some of the most breathtaking sequences and animation I've seen in a while. I'm a huge sucker for everything looking shiny and colorful in anime, and even though the studio goes through quite a few rough patches in development of this anime, you can hardly tell, especially considering how expressive each environment and character tends to be from scene to scene. Although, I do have two words of extreme caution. One is that it's rated M for a reason. Obviously, there's the sensitive subject matter I hinted to before. But if there's anything that you can think of that relates to that topic, it would likely be touched on in the show in some way. Though, thankfully, the worst of it in the show isn't talked about in explicit detail, only implied or talked about. The second, however, you're not gonna like the way the show ends. Like it all. It still stays beautiful, charming, and the characters are still mostly likable, but... Well, Wonder at Priority is a dream. It cuts between sequences and moments of tension and chaos. A lot of the things don't make sense in the moment, but it melts together beautifully once things are caught up to. And it's very easy to let go of your suspension of disbelief when things are at its best. It's got the same euphoric feeling of being able to do anything so long as you're in a dream. And it's even a show that'll stick in your mind all day if you let it. But have you ever had one of those dreams where everything's a mess and you wake up feeling confused and wondering what weird movie you must have watched the night before for that even to be a thing? Yeah, expect that. I wouldn't say that it's so bad you shouldn't watch it, but it's nice to at least expecting things won't be as great and cohesive as it is in the beginning. Either way, it's still a beautiful story that would stick with me for a long time to come. Released back this year in January and ended in June, Wonder Egg Priority is a fantasy that makes reality seem just a bit brighter, and it's a great watch. Go tell someone you love them, and have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.